Hello friends, welcome to our channel Civil Student. Friends, today let us discuss the topic of stones and its classification and types and quarrying of stones. Before starting to our video, please subscribe to our channel and press on bell icon for more updates. Stone Stone is a natural hard substance formed from minerals present in rock. Generally, the difference between rock and stone is, is, is almost same. When a rock is cut into pieces, then it will become stone. Now, let us classify the rocks based on its mode of occurrence. Generally, building stones are obtained from rocks. Uh, rocks are majorly classified as igneous rock, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks. These rocks are classified based on their occurrence. Now, igneous rocks. Rocks that are formed by cooling of magma or lava are known as igneous rock. Example, granite, basalt, and tolerite, etc. Generally, igneous rocks are two types. Intrusive igneous rocks and extrusive igneous rocks. The lava, the rocks formed inside the earth after cooling is known as intrusive igneous rock and the rocks formed by cooling outside the earth is known as extrusive igneous rock. Now classification of igneous rock based on silica content. Igneous rock have silica content in the form of silicon dioxide. If silica content is greater than 66% by weight, then it is classified as acidic. If silica content lies between 52 and 66% by weight, then it is classified as intermediate or neutral. If silica content is lies between 45 and 52% by weight, then it is classified as basic. If silica content lies less than 45% by weight, then it is classified as ultra basic. Now let us come to sedimentary rocks. These rocks are formed by consolidation of products of weathering obtained from pre-existing rocks. If igne igneous rocks are, are undergoing weathering and erosion, sediments are formed. Those sediments after compaction and cementation, sedimentary rocks are formed. As you can see, this is a sedimentation rock. These rocks are layered rocks. This, these are formed by layer by layers. Now let us come to metamorphic rocks. These rocks are formed by change by the change in character of the pre-existing rocks when subjected to great heat and pressure. This process of transformation is called as metamorphism. Example: quartzite, schist, slate, marble, and gneiss. If igneous rocks and sedimentary rocks undergo great heat and pressure uh, changes will occur in those rocks and metamorphic rocks are formed as you can see here this is the rock cycle um, firstly magma after cooling igneous rocks are formed those igneous rock due to weathering and liquefaction sediments are formed and those sediments after some years uh, due to compaction and cementation sedimentary rocks are formed those igneous rock and sedimentary rocks are both uh, due to change in heat and pressure metamorphic rocks are formed as um, due to metamorphism uh, and uh, sedimentary rocks shale is converted into slate sandstone is converted into quartzite and limestone is converted as marble and granite is converted as gneiss this is the rock cycle of rocks based on their occurrence now let us go to quarrying of stone the only operation involved in production of natural stone is the quarrying process these methods of quarrying commonly employed are as follows quarrying by excavation quarrying by wedging quarrying by heating and quarrying by blasting now first one quarrying by excavation in this method uh, stones buried in earth or uh, under loose overburden are excavated with picks, pickaxes, crowbars, chisels and ha hammers. Quarrying by wedging. 
This method of quarrying is suitable for costly soft and stratified rocks. Actually, what we'll do means steel pins and plaques are placed in 10 to 15 cm deep holes at around 10 cm spacing are made vertically in the rock. And if we struck them simultaneously with, with a sledgehammer, the rock slab split along the lines of least resistance through these holes. In this method, wastage is minimum and the slabs of required size and shape can be quarried. This method is actually costly and it is very suitable for soft ones, stratified rock. Stratified rock means layered rocks. Layered rocks are nothing but uh, one type of sedimentary rocks. As, as you can see in this picture, uh, those steel pins and plaques are placed in uh, 10 to 15 centimeter deep holes those uh, those are nothing but wedges at around 10 centimeter spacing and if we struck them uh, simultaneously now quarrying by heating this method is most suitable for quarrying small thin and regular blocks of stones from rocks a heap of fuel is piled and fired on the surface of the rock in small area because of this uh, heating and uh, increase in temperature uh, uh, the rocks will explode and uh, this method is uneven expansion means it, it is not in proper size and proper shape this method is useful for small quarrying process only the loosened portion of the rocks are broken into pieces of desired size and are removed with the help of axes or and crowbars. This is uh, this is nothing but quarrying by heating. In this, generally heating is occurring, so it is called as quarrying by heating. Now let us go to quarrying by blasting. In this, uh, uh, multiple stages are involved in this process explosives such as blasting powder blasting cotton di dynamite and cordite are used in this method uh, uh, there are different stages involved in this process first we have to dig boreholes uh, uh, of certain depth and uh, the holes are dried completely and the required amount of charge is placed inside the hole holes this is this process is called as charging now the charges placed inside the holes is compacted using the tamping rods and and next one the charged holes are ignite causing explosion which breaks the rocks into smaller pieces of different sizes now in next video let us discuss about uh, good qualities of uh, building stone and tests on building stone Thank you friends, please subscribe and press on bell icon for more updates.